Hi, my name is Nicole Melnicki. I'm a fine arts major with a textile and art history minor. I'm currently a sophomore at New York. Throughout the spring break, we volunteered at four different organizations. We volunteered at Oasis, the Hunger Coalition, the Boys and Girls Club, and the Mercy Hospice. The first day, we all met up in the penthouse over Stall Hall, and we got to meet and bond with people who we usually don't get to talk to during school. So that was something that was really interesting and fun to talk to. This was my second year doing it and it was really enjoyable and this year was just a different year than last year so that's something that really stuck with me. Another experience that I enjoyed was the Boys and Girls Club where we created these bulletin boards with the children and we did different decorations of bugs and flowers and we did this bulletin board for them and I think they really enjoyed that. Hi, I'm Nicole Hamilton. I'm a sophomore illustration major, fashion minor, and my favorite break had to be when we went to Mercy Hospice, where we worked with the women. Um, I personally worked in the kitchen. We prepared meals for the residents as well as some of the women who came in off the street. We got to work firsthand with a lot of the food and were able to prepare different meals and see how the women work daily. And it was such a rewarding experience seeing what they do for every day, how they, they work with each other and how uplifting they are. And it is just amazing how they do what they do. My name is Jasmine Gutierrez and I'm a Victoria Studies major. My favorite experience of our alternative spring break has to be Oasis. We volunteered to help with the Walk in Our Shoes event and we made a mural for them. Uh, with their logo in the front, we made brochures and we helped organize the collection of artwork that was made there. Hi, my name is Tori Latanzi. I'm a sophomore fine arts major um, with a minor in business and textiles here at New York. And during the Alternative Spring Break program, I think the most memorable experience for me was going to Mercy Hospice. Um, Mercy Hospice is an organization that helps homeless women and children. And um, that day, I was able to work in the kitchen and serve some of the residents they had there. And for me, on a personal level, it was a big thing to like be able to, as a woman, help out these women who were a bit down on their luck, provide a service that they wouldn't have had otherwise. So, getting a chance to help them out, I think, um, really gave me a lot of perspective and had a really big impact on me overall. Hi, my name is Melissa Ojeda and I'm a sophomore photography and digital arts major with a business minor. I joined the Spring Break Alternative because I really wanted to continue volunteering during my spring break and I love doing that in my free time and this was just a good experience to be able to stay here in Philadelphia and be able to join different organizations and help out other people. And my favorite experience was in Mercy Hospice was talking to one of the women in the kitchen, her name was Elaine, and she was just so amazing and the way she spoke, like you can tell that she really loved being there and she was just so appreciative of the women that came in and just listening to her voice just made me realize that like there's so much more out there that, that people don't know about and just being able to help these women and assist just for one day is the best experience ever. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Um, I'm an illustration major with minors in business, graphic design, and fine arts with an emphasis in painting. At the Boys and Girls Club of Philadelphia, we worked with students who um, don't have a place to go after school, and we did like different activities with them. We helped them with their homework, and we did arts and crafts. We also played games with them. So the students, their ages ranged anywhere from first grade up until like third and fourth and there, then there were a couple of students who were a little bit older like middle school and high school age and while we were there it was really interesting to be a part of a group that works with students because I know I was interested in being a teacher so having the opportunity to pursue my interests in art but also know that there's a place where I can work with kids and work with students in the future was really comforting because now I know that I can still help children and children in need and also pursue a career in the arts and pursue my illustration interests. The other 
organization that I really enjoyed working with was the Hunger Coalition. It was um, like kind of like a soup kitchen where homeless um, people and people who couldn't afford to feed themselves or are just making ends meet but can't afford to buy food can go and grab um, a meal between certain times. And that was a really interesting experience because it was really eye-opening because a lot of the people that were there were so friendly and so nice. We were so thankful for what we were doing. We were there serving, um, serving meals. We're so happy and really appreciated what we were doing and that really made a difference for me because a lot of the people were, you know, someone you would see on the street that you would normally be afraid of or be afraid to talk to were there and really were thankful for you helping them. My name is Madeline Heckman. I'm an illustration sophomore and my favorite experience for Alternative Spring Break was making um, posters for the Walk Around the Hunger for the Hunger Coalition. Um, I think I, it was um, an, it was a very interesting experience to do alternative spring break because I'm not a people person, so I was a little bit nervous about how everything would go. So I think I really enjoyed being able to do sort of behind the scenes work and doing graphic design for um, for a good cause. Basically, um, it was nice to be able to know that I'm contributing without like getting in the way, I guess. Um, and also working at the soup kitchen uh, that Friday was really really nice because you could actually see the difference we're making and. We were serving food to people and they seemed very like polite and thankful and it's nice to be able to see and put faces to kind of an abstract idea of like the hunger. Hi, my name is Caitlin Chance, I'm a sophomore and I'm a fine arts major. Um, and my favorite part of Alternative Spring Break was at Oasis Art Center. I had volunteered there before last semester when I was an art education major and I really enjoyed being around all the special needs people on the staff and seeing all the artwork up on the walls and the gallery space. Um, so this time around, I think it was really nice to go back in and see it with a fresh set of eyes with all the experience now that I have with painting and dealing with people with special needs and that sort of thing. Um, and there's a funny story. Um, Nicole Malnicki and I, we were invited to make a brochure for Oasis and sort of make all their social media stuff like Twitter and Facebook and that sort of thing, which was pretty simple. When it came to making the brochure, it was, it was pretty troubling. Um, but that was a nice wake-up call to see like some real-world experience and to get all the other girls from um, the alternate spring break out. So that was probably probably one of the funniest and sort of most humbling parts of alternate spring break. The alternative spring break was definitely a good experience. I don't know, do it again next year for sure. Because I really enjoyed being able to help people because normally we're too busy during the school year. And I'll definitely go back and do the um, boys and girls club and help them in the future too because I was really able to pursue my interests with um, helping children.